Hi, my name is Manjot Singh. I'm an enterprise architect at MariaDB. Uh, and I want to talk to you about temporal tables. Uh, temporal tables give you the ability to look at data as it changed over time. What we're going to use as our example is a bank account. So let's say we have a table called account. And in that table, let's say we have ID for user A. Uh, let's say that's me. And we've just opened the bank account with the balance of zero. Now, let's say I got a paycheck that came in. Uh, and this was at time point one, right? So we opened it and we have that bank account of zero. Let's say we got a paycheck. And that paycheck, uh, let's say we've deposited $1,000. And now the bank account at time point two is 1,000. But let's say we had, I don't know, we had to make a car payment, uh, 250. So now our bank account at time three is 750. So if we did a select from account where ID equals A, we would get the value of 750. That's our current account balance, right? But what we can do now is we can say as of T2, and now we'll get back 1,000. Or we can say as of T1 and get back 0. So this is a really cool feature where we can see what the table was like at different points of time. And this is really valuable for this type of auditing and financial data or looking at historical trends or any of that uh, thing. So one of the things that you may also want to look at is, well, what about performance, right? Will our, our table just balloon storing all the data uh, that's ever been written to it? And that, that is a possibility. So what we recommend is that you partition the table and you have your historical data uh, in a separate historical partition and then your live data on the, the live partition. And that gives you some great options uh, for, for that. Uh, and as well as uh, enabling easier backups and, and things of that nature. So that's a basic primer on how temporal tables work in MariaDB, uh, and I hope that that gives you a great starting point. Thank you.